Welcome back for another Book Talk video. It's Science Fiction Sunday, and I am delighted to talk to you about a book that's coming out on May 4th. I was able to get an advanced reading copy, which is why I'm able to talk to you about it on May 2nd. Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. It's Andy Weir's latest book. You probably know him as the author of The Martian, a really awesome book which really stood out as something different. It's science fiction that is very science intense. And it was such a great book that it was picked up to be turned into a movie. A lot of people know the movie starring Matt Damon. The film for The Martian was amazingly accurate. And part of that is because Andy Weir has a very cinematic way of writing. He also wrote the book Artemis, which I enjoyed, but was not at the level of The Martian. It was more of just a fun sci-fi high story dealing with the moon colony. Though, toward the end of the book where the heist got all messed up it then went into science mode with the characters trying to survive and felt a little more like the martian but i'm not here to talk about those books i'm here to talk about project hail mary this book hands down easily five stars from me i will admit though if you are not as interested in the heavy science element of a novel then it might only be a four star book for you because there's a lot of science going on I felt like it was well balanced though because you get a bunch of science and then it switches to something that is very human. The book deals not only with the scientific elements but also very much it's about relationships. It's about our relationships with each other. How we deal with each other. Because the book is about the earth coming to an end. It's about the doom of humanity and how people have to come together to try and solve it. Though that's not what the book appears to be about from the beginning. Because Andy Weir starts out with a trope that I know people say has been overdone, but it actually works in this book, and that is the trope of a character who seems to have amnesia, can't remember his identity, what's going on. Though I read the book as an advanced reader copy on my Kindle as an ebook, so I can tell you an exact percentage, it's 8% into the book that he understands who he is. It's only the first 8% in which you've got to deal with that trope if you're not a fan of it. Though I do think that the trope was handled really well because there is a serious reason for it in the story. And there's the reason that it appears to be and then later on in the book there's more than one reason for it. So to me the trope works in this case even though I, I was concerned about it. When I read the blurb about the book and I was like oh gosh amnesia. That was the one element that had me worried but it really was not an issue and I personally was really excited when he remembered not only his name but who he was what it is that he does with his life as part of what got him to where he's at the situation that he's found himself in i cannot recommend this book enough i i think it's really awesome i think it's a great read as a science fiction story because not only does it have the science in there not only is it dealing with relationships with each other but it's got some really good moral dilemmas and moral questions that become a part of the narrative because once the main character remembers who he is the book is really divided between the current situation and the flashbacks to what got him to where he was and that works out really well i think it makes the pacing work a lot better for the novel than if it was actually told in time sequential order i think that andy weir made a lot of great decisions in writing the story it also has a lot of funny moments i think probably if you compared it to the martian the martian's got more of those funny moments but this one still has some good funny moments and there were a couple lines that i felt like were kind of a, a reference or a jab at the martian but because of spoilers i'm i'm not gonna say what those were there's a lot that i would like to say in a spoilery discussion of this book because it is so intense with the events that happen as it continues on but i would not give you spoilers in this kind of book talk preview for it i just want to encourage you to give this book a chance Project Hail Mary should be on your reading list this spring or this summer. I would say get it read 
odds are I would think some studio is going to want to pick this up and make a movie out of it. So you're going to want to get the book read before whatever film inevitably comes out about the book. Or you may just want to read it because, like I said, it's great science fiction in the sense that it both has a bunch of science in it. Which, you know, disclaimer, I'm not a scientist. It's possible that the science is inaccurate because we're dealing with memory stuff as well as a lot of space stuff that deals with planets, atmospheres, as well as dealing with traveling through space and all of that. But from everything else that I know about science fiction and from science and stories, it certainly feels accurate. And as long as the narrative feels accurate to me, I'm not worried about whether or not it's actually 100% scientifically accurate. And in a narrative, I'm willing to give it some leeways. But like I was saying, you may want to read it because it's great science fiction with the science mixed in, but also with those moral dilemmas and issues of relationships and communication. All right, I've said enough for today's book talk. Every day is a good day for a book talk. Peace.